Praise God, praise God. I had to get back up on here because God wanted um, me to actually talk about something. Um, I think people don't understand something. And, and it's crazy because if you look in the New Testament, come on somebody, and I challenge you all to do that, you will see where when Paul was walking and the girl that was like, I know who you are. And, you know, she was working with a spirit of divination, which was a spirit of witchcraft. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And Paul said, you know what, I've had another turn around and just zapped it out of her. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. So that's the same thing that God is saying in this hour. And so I want to read you something right quick. Okay, Satan. Satan is the prince of evil spirits and the adversary of God. Satan is understood was an angel. But when he rebelled against God, he was cast down from heaven and him and the fallen angels. Now, the reason why I want to say that and what happened is this is in Ezekiel 28, 14. There was an understanding that when um, they saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven, come on, somebody. And he was identified as the earthly serpent. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I want to talk about something right quick, fast and in a hurry. And I pray that people can understand where I'm coming from. I, I hear so many people say, oh, I don't believe in witchcraft. Yeah, I'm looking kind of, kind of crazy at you. Okay, let's talk. I'm going to break it down for you. That's all right. The anointing comes from God. Everything is pure is God. The order of God is holy. Come on, somebody. That's why when you feel the anointing, it's, it's overwhelming because it's supernatural. Well, same as it is in heaven, as it is in hell. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Satan, everything that he was when he was pure and the order of God has been turned around. Come on, somebody. So now he's the prince of the evil spirits. Where does evil spirits dwell? In the satanic realm. What is satanicness? Witchcraft. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So what am I saying? Witchcraft is the power of Satan. How can you not believe it? Come on, somebody. Because the Bible tells me that there is not one without the other. He's he says, you cannot serve God and mammon. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He say, choose this day who you will serve. So that entity, that there is really a Satan, there is really a hell. A hell. Come on, somebody, because we are living in an uh, age to where we have all types of other religions as if Satan is not real. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And God say, that's why people are falling away because they don't believe it. Let me tell you something, men and women of God, this is not the time. Hold on, because I, I'm so tired. I, I Y'all know y'all be coming for me. Y'all know I'm the one, right? I'm the one. Meaning that you can come for me with that silliness. Go somewhere, pray, and ask God what I say. Don't come to me acting silly. I, I Don't do that. But here's the deal. You have to pray over everything in this hour. Witchcraft is at a height, all time high. And to be honest with you, it's because most people don't even believe it. So you don't even know what to pray against. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Right now, we're so busy. And when I say we, because God look at us as the body of Israel, we're so engrossed with this world and the fame and everything. And to everybody's into that. Everybody's into that stuff. And, and the witchcraft is just slipping by you. And then you wonder, and then when it do hit your home or close to home, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus, then you want to cry to God. When you wasn't on your watch, man of God, you wasn't on your watch, woman of God, there is no reason that Satan should come as close as he comes into any Christian. Hallelujah. That means we got to be watchful. Hold on. I didn't say fearful because I'm getting tired of y'all witches and while I trying to turn my words, but I already know why y'all come after me because y'all y'all scared of that power. And trust me, oh, it's getting heavy on my life. When the sinners can see it, I was in the studio today, like I told y'all. Let me tell you what that young man said. And he was just staring at me. I was like, what you say? He said, he said, you look different. And I know what he was talking about because I've been, y'all haven't been seeing me because I've been spending time with God. I got to hear from God. Oh, come on, somebody. Ain't no sense in getting up here trying to perpetrate. And most people are perpetrating the fraud because this is slick. Oh, come on, somebody. Bible, Bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue and those that love it should eat the fruit thereof. But also he said that this is unruly, that no man can tame it. So anything will come out your mouth. I want to know what's in your spirit. I want to know, have you been with God? What does God say? Because that's what we need in this hour. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you what God say. 
we are coming in a time where you can't play with this thing. You can't play church. You can't play being a Christian because it's hot out here. And what am I? The devil is all around. This is his world. Y'all keep forgetting it's his world. He doing us the same way he did Jesus. If you fall down and worship me, I'll give you the glory of this world. And some of y'all are taking that bait. But guess what God said? You have your reward. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You have your reward. You ain't even thinking about eternity. You just thinking about now. That's why some of them famous people can do what they did and still doing it because they're just thinking about now. But let me let me pose something to you. If you are a spirit, and we are, right? Because this is flesh. And he says, when we be called up, we will be changed in a twinkling of an eye into immort we'll put on immortality. Can I tell you something? That's why it says that they will be tormented day and night. So you sitting up there talking about, I'm going to go ahead and, and get me now, and then you're going to burn forever, ever, ever, forever, ever? You ain't even thinking about that. I know, I know, I know. Because, hey, let me get me now. Whatever. You, you're going to regret it later. I'm just being real with you. Pray over everything. Pray over your food. Pray over your family. Pray over your money. Pray over your Facebook. You don't hear what I'm saying. These witches and warlocks, I see them. I hear them. You guys, I'm not kidding. This stuff is real. They don't like me because they know I can sense them. You know, I, I could be walking forward and I'll turn around and I sense them and they look at me and I look at them dead in the eye. What? What? I'm not the one. I'm not scared of you. Excuse me. And most Christians are scared of it because you guess what? Because you haven't spent time with God. When you spend time with God, you ain't scared of nothing or nobody. Come. Hallelujah. Let's do it. This what we doing. This what we doing. Y'all think I'm crazy. I'm serious. Y'all better understand what time it is. It's time for the body of Christ to stop being so wimpy and understand that we are in the last hour and the enemy is trying to take all of us with him. And I ain't going. I told the last video, I ain't going. And I pray you don't. Pray. That's what season we are. And understand witchcraft is real. I'm not trying to put fear in you. I'm telling you what's going on. The food don't taste right. The water don't taste right. It just You can just sense it. Anybody that has a real spirit of God can sense we getting ready to go home. And I know y'all don't want to touch that because you're scared. And just like I posed a question, well, God posed a question the other day. Do you know where you're going? When you do close your eyes, and we all will, sorry, unless you just, unless you get that favor like Elijah had and go up in the chariot, and I'm I, I'm praying. I ain't lying. I said, God, send a chariot for me, please. I'll be waving at all y'all. Bye, bye. I sure would. Yes, I would. But my whole point is this. It's serious. All just a sign. We're in a time to where we need to be praying, fasting, and loving each other back to life. Time out for being angry, mad, and all the other negative stuff. Time out, and I got to say this. I knew he was going to make me say it. You Christians need to stop being so sexual. You know, I see people up on here, and y'all think it's funny because y'all kind of like do it slightly on the edge. God is watching you. How can you say that you're a man or woman of God and you're just as lustful and freaky? You can't even hear God right now because you're so busy thinking about sex and this and that. God say you better come back to your first love, God say. God say you better come back to your first love because once you taint it, you taint it. So now you got to come back to God and say, God, restore me. God, heal me. God, deliver me. But first, you got to confess that thing. And you ain't got to tell everybody. You can go to God. God, you, you saw what I did, how I did when I did it. Please help me. Return from that sin. Repent from that sin. I'm just being real with y'all. Hallelujah. This stuff is real. Hallelujah. Y'all sitting up there playing. This is not the time to play. And people don't want the truth these days. Bible says in Timothy that in the last days, they would be lovers of themselves. Itching is. Come on, somebody. Oh, they, they, oh, let me tell you something. They'll love you when you say, oh, God going to bless you. See all them fake prophets? And yeah, I'm saying it like I'm saying. Y'all know this the prophet finger, so I ain't just doing this. I, I, I catch myself doing this sometimes, especially when I'm in the um, anointing. Y'all fake prophets, God going to get you. Cause this been all about the money and I'm, and, and I'm telling you what they do. I've been seeing this since 2003, actually, no, 13, 2013. Y'all go on real prophets page and, and then y'all get the information. Y'all come back like God told it to y'all. And I ask for everybody. Don't get it twisted. But God said, you have your reward because you, you're fronting and you're stunting for money and status. I'm going to be real with just so I know that there is no fear of God. 
in this last hour because there's no way I would play with God. There's no way I would play with the people of God. And that's how I know some of you don't know God. Because when you know God, you know not to play with God because God will take you out. Hallelujah. Act like you don't know. Y'all know. I don't have to name names. And the sad part, you don't know the oracles of God. Remember David, when David sinned with Bathsheba? He didn't hit David. He, he took that baby. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all sitting up. It might not be you get hit. It might be somebody else. And then you crying, asking God, what happened? God said, you was playing with me. I got your attention now. Can you hear me now? Can you see me now? And then we want to cry. I'm just being real. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, so I just, I'm just telling y'all, it's time, it's time to stop playing. Playtime been over with, people dying, and it's time for us to be on our watch, and it's time for us to be unified, unified for real. Hallelujah to his name. I'm going to be praying like never before coming up this year. I'm going to be praying, I'm going to be fasting, I ain't even playing, because this is not about me, it's about us. It's about the body of Christ, it's about the people of God. Hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. All right, so God bless you. God keep you. I love you through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we are soldiers. And we better boot up in this hour. It's time to put on your whole armor. Hallelujah. And no retreating, God says. God say, charge. Hallelujah, I feel the power of God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless. In case y'all want to know why I do that at the end. God said, Deanna, you're a general. So if I'm a general, that makes you soldiers. That's why I do that. Because I want you to know who you are. I don't care what level. We all on the front line. Hallelujah. And it's time for us to do our job. Hallelujah. So God bless you and have a blessed night. God bless.